and you doing. It's a lot of us out there doing good stuff. And y'all women overlooking us and stuff like that because our joys might be scratched up. I might have on a Reeboks Classic today. You don't never know. I might just got through cutting grass and going to the store. And I'm looking toe down, but you didn't know that I got a house where you coming going to your apartment. Man. And you tripping. I think that the black fathers get overlooked because there's so many people out there talking about they did not have a father and they make that they make that a a staple of endurance. Hey, I didn't have a father and you know, I grew up without a father. I mean that that's, that story is I'm not saying that it's old, but it's over publicized because man, I don't even hang with people who don't take care of their kids. Hmm. If you don't take care of your kids, me and you have nothing in common. Like the guys that you named earlier that I that I'm friends with all of my friends take care of their kids. You said exactly. Cliff Mack, Marcus D. Wiley, Keelan Farouk, GT, Smooth G, Snap, all Kid Styles, all of my friends, man, take care of their kids. Because at three o'clock, if you want to sit around and talk, I ain't got nothing to talk to you about. I got to go. <laughs> kids, I know. You know. At three o'clock, it's time. Yeah, my day is over with. Now. I got to go home and, and now it's time to cook. Now it's time to get ready. Got to study, you know what I'm saying? Give them, give them a light. Yeah. Other than, no, you ain't think go home and get on that game and all that. Let's go do something. Like, I bought, um, they came by, they got the new um, baseball team out there in Sugarland. Skeeters. They built a whole new yeah. stadium and everything out there oh, in Sugarland. Right. They came through selling um, packages for 25 hours. You get eight tickets. Because okay. you can go Sunday through Thursday and stuff like that. So yeah. I bought the whole package, 25 dollars. I'm going to take my kids out there. I want some ballpark hot dogs and, hey, you know and do certain things. I, I'm, I'm one of them cats that like to go to you know, games that's not professional. I used to go see the Arrows play, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's right on Main Street. It's a, it's a South fun play. They do baseball. They just amateur baseball players out there. I like to go out there and just watch. Yeah. Just regular. I don't have to go it's to fun. see the yeah, Astros. It's just experience. You know, it's, it's baseball professional ain't no fun to me. Because you hit it on the air, they're going to catch it. Unless you see them Yankees. Yeah. You see in my sport, the yeah. Yankees. It's still, you know what I'm saying? You hit it on the ground, they're gonna pick up and throw it at the base before you. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Where can you win? I, I want I want to see I do want to see bloopers. Cause that's what amateur baseball is. Yeah. A bunch of a bunch of bloopers. Then there's one guy who think he the coldest, he should have been in the league. Yeah. You they know? all under that, that, that's what they do. Like the uh Ryan Rock Express. They are the miners for the Rangers. Mm. And I guess this one they doing and stuff might be the miners for the Astros because that's how they move them up and stuff. Excuse us. I don't know. I don't know the Astros. The Astros are miners right now. <laughs> yeah, they are. They, they ain't been good since yeah. 83, man. Yeah. But it's fun. I think we need to start doing more stuff like that. With I mean, we need to stop always worrying about doing black things with your kids. Take them swimming. Take them around. Let's take them, educate them. You know what I'm saying? Educate them. Let them do different things. My prayers down. You know? Um, go to theater, man. I, I, you know, the Lion King is here, and mm -hmm. you know, and Phantom of the Opera, and these type of things, cultural things, man. Because we actually have, we don't really have a culture, man. You know, because a lot of things we do are just fads, and then we don't want to reconnect with Africa, which is which is retarded because everybody else, that's the most richest country in the world. Mm -hmm. That's why Britain has been over there for years. That's why China is over there. Everybody does. All the minerals are over there. Yeah, hey, man. Natural, natural resources, but you know we don't eat vegetables no more. We just eat everything fried. If it ain't fried, you know what? We don't want it. Maybe yeah, we, I'm a fast food eater too, cause I got I be here from you see from nine to ten. I don't want to leave here tonight till ten, mm. so I ain't finna go home. But my, my kids moving in with my oldest boy. I got sixteen and a fifteen and a fourteen year old. They moving in with me, so I'm finna stop all of this. Then back got, home with daddy. Got cook at night. Yeah. You know I made I made some oxtails. You know. That's cold out, man. Mm -hmm. And I stopped, yeah, you know, I really, I had a taste for them, but I really had stopped eating, you know, meat all together. I was mm -hmm. eating a lot of vegetables, man, and different things, portobello mushroom, pasta, and all this type of stuff. You know, trying to get, trying to get more healthy. So I didn't really drop 30 pounds. If I was 190, now I'm 160, you know, and, you know, just for not, you know, just lowering down my intake of meat. And salt, you know, I, I, I had to eat pork since I was 15, mm -hmm. so I don't mess with that at all. I love my swine, I'm sorry. That's the thing, that's the thing man. When you yeah. go to the doctor, the first thing the doctor, when you get hypertension, high blood pressure, stress, any of that, the first thing he says is to stop eating. Hey, man, stop, slow down on that pork mm -hmm. and salt. Man, pork was, pork was what was given to us as slaves because it had slop. Yeah. You know, and we, and to this day, we still 
we still want to eat what they gave us. Because, you know, people wasn't running around Africa eating no pig. Man, the boys was cattle, you know. You was eating, you was eating what they what they charge, what they charge at high end restaurants for lamb. Mm -hmm. We was eating on a regular. We was eating lamb all the time. Mm -hmm. Now black people, I don't like to taste the lamb. You never had lamb. You never had lamb? Go give me some lamb this weekend. You wanna go get some lamb somewhere? Where can we go get some lamb? Man, you gotta go to a good restaurant. Get some lamb. Like, and I'm not really even a good one. You can go to, um, let me see. Cause I cook at the house, so it's, it's, it's never really be out. Let me see where you can go for lamb. Probably, um, Fago the Childs. Okay. They probably got good lamb. Or, um, I can say to a bunch of moths. That they probably they probably got it cooking yeah, right now. Okay. Yeah, but you know some it's, lamb chops. Some lamb, some, some lamb chops. Some lamb, man, and and lamb is good, man. I I like lamb. I love goat. Now that's my that man. I love goat. Okay, now I I always man goat is good. Goat's milk is better for you because it's not pasteurized, you know. And that's crazy. All the things that's really really good for us, we really oh, we have to even turn our nose up at it because you know. Goat's milk has more municipal properties in it than any other milk, you know, and it's pure. It may, it, 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 we don't have a taste for it at this point, but goat's milk was what we used to drink. Mm -hmm. And then you have, um, man, shea butter. You really don't need lotions with all the chemicals in it. You can mm -hmm. just get natural shea butter or uh, actual raw black soap. Raw black soap will uh, clean up any blemishes on your skin. You don't need any makeup or any of that job, man. You can just use raw black soap without any of them chemicals in it. Then you have, um, man, you got this quinoa. Quinoa is, is man, one of the best grains that you could possibly eat. It's better than rice. It's better mm -hmm. than any of that because white, white rice have a lot of starch in it. So you got brown rice, yellow rice, quinoa. Man, it's a lot of things like kale. Man, kale has a lot in it, and spinach. Spinach has more protein in it by far than beef. Beef has like 16, 18, 8 to 16 percent of protein in it. Spinach has 46. Hmm. You know, it's just it's like eating my spinach now. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your spinach, go get it. Spinach. Spinach. Like, you know, some commercials around here. You can pass it
set it all up and then gave it out to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's fine. She 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 still knew at this, but she'll point guard. That's what point guard 